Hello friends. So today we will cover another important topic during this lockdown period. So which is uh, simulating live data feed to our cloud API services. Okay. So as you all know, uh, during development and testing of server side coding for IoT platform, uh, you must have some devices that will feed you with live data so that you can uh, test your API services and platform services. But during this lockdown, actually sometimes hardware are not available or sometimes the personnel who work on hardware site or hardware team are not available at office so you cannot request them uh, so today we'll see how without like very little or no scripting we can simulate such kind of uh, live data feed to our platform okay so to test our services uh, so you know there are many tools like selenium uh, and also postman uh, that help us do that uh, but today what i want to do like use almost no scripting and i want a uh, randomized uh, data feed to my platform so let us see how that can be achieved okay so i will be using uh, postman chrome extension for this tutorial uh, you can also use the extra version of it uh, so before we get into postman let us see what we are uh, trying to achieve here so say uh, you are using do it platform so this is a iot platform so a com very common one and how do you post data to do it server it is like this right so uh, when you want to post something you go there and you say your variable is not hello is equal to world you want to post this a is equal to 100 and your thing name is say thing one so this is what i am posting okay from my browser so uh, this will go to do it server and get saved there so it is successful and this is the value is equal to 100 and how do i get my data back from do it so it is getting do it uh, the last one is uh, this one so if, so my thing name was thing dash one right so i will put thing dash one and i will get my data back so but now uh, these things are being done from a browser so normally our device do this call and save the data a is equal to 100 and next time maybe at every one minute a is equal to 100 101 102 99 98 so this may be the temperature okay but i do not have that data and i do not have that device so i want to simulate that i am and i don't want to type it here uh, every one minute okay so i will do the automation of that part into uh, postman okay so uh, do it i have shown here because it is a very common platform uh, but actually the example will be on uh, our platforms uh, voice things platform uh, because i have the ready examples with this thing i do not have a ready example for do it uh, so i will use this so it is the similar thing only so thing name uh, is equal to wish tree and then uh, you if you want to put a is equal to uh, say 200 you can post it like this so this is the same thing same to uh, do it only uh, so this is posted so i'll use this url in our uh, postman example to show you how to simulate and how we can like without having a device we can get a randomized data say every 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 second okay so let us go there okay so now we are into postman uh, now we'll see how we can simulate the data so we were posting a is equal to 200 there uh, so in go into postman uh, and take a new gate post or any kind of method that you were using so we are using gate method here so you put get and then uh, just uh, copy paste the same thing that you used here okay so you you, you pick up this uh, copy this whole thing here control c and go to postman put it here i have already put it here and then instead of a is equal to some specific value you can put a is equal to double bracket a okay and this a value will be supplied from a uh, json file okay so i'll show you how to get that json file and just optionally you can uh, put a test here uh, like whether the, uh, the data sending is successful or not uh, so even you don't need to write this uh, what you can do uh, you can just uh, there are many uh, common scenarios here so like i have used status code code is 200 so say uh, i'll show you here so you need not uh, type uh, any of this part even if you don't have this so let me remove it and you just go there okay uh, status code is 200 and this will automatically appear here okay so you need not script it and then what you can do uh, you have to create a folder here okay so this is the first request folder gate data and we'll save save it here okay so 
you just click a save and it will get saved here so now what we need to do uh, so uh, for the first time i am showing you only a is equal to a but you maybe have like temperature humidity battery percentage uh, time time stamp all this so i will show you next time's example how you can add multiple values here so the first example let us see only with one value okay so what do you now ne next need to do uh, you go there and go to run okay so we will run this example uh, so just one thing to mention here uh, so say uh, you just want to like send one data so you can put here a is equal to 100 or 200 and send from here so that is for sending just one data but if you want to uh, send repetitively then you need to go to run and open up this one and then you select which one uh, you want to say so i am i want to do this gate data part okay and then uh, uh environment nothing iteration i want 20 iterations of it okay i want to send 20 data points okay and with a delay means the gap time gap 1000 means this is millisecond so every second uh so say every two second okay so every two second one data so that is what i want to uh, send now there is one uh, option to choose file uh, so what i'll do i have already created uh one randomized json file uh so this is it uh so let me open it for you okay so you can create a file like this uh, so also i will show you how you can use excel tool to easily generate this you need not type all this uh, you can create random data and then you can create a format like this so i'll show you that so for now this is a ready json file okay uh, um, i'll show you how to create this uh, so you can see it has got 20 data points actually it has got 20 data points so what you need to do uh, you go to run choose a file choose this file random the json and open if you want you can preview it so you can see here there are 20 data points okay so this will be sent and uh, at the bottom uh, let me make it full screen you have run first request so this is the request first request uh, the gate data so now i run it okay so here every two second uh, it will send uh, this data and uh, 20 data will be passed on uh, and uh, because we uh, uh, we mentioned a test uh, uh, test script we, we added one test script that is why the test result is showing here pass or fail if we don't add any test script uh, there will be nothing here you can only see uh, this 200 okay so we have already sent uh, eight of the data so what we'll do um, so we'll open up that json file uh, or maybe we can preview it here also right uh, okay it's gone cannot preview it here so let me open that json file here and we'll see what are the last data 16 13 15 okay 16 13 15 this is what we will try to find out from there uh, so is it done uh, so 16 data point is already run so just one more time 16 13 15 are the last three data so if this is done so what we'll do if the data is posted let me check here uh, so the name we used here uh, in our call is uh, let me now close it uh, yeah, thing name we put wish tree only okay so we can use the wish tree name and recall data so wish tree and i want count is equal to three so i want last three data right so i'll see whether it is 16 right 13 okay and 15 so this is how the data is posted uh, to the platform and we can see that uh, from here so now we'll have an example uh, with uh, two data points like a and b like temperature and humidity so for that i have this uh, this uh, get data 2 okay first request 2 uh, so here are the same thing uh, you can put like a is equal to a and b is equal to b in the same format that you use in your uh, like browser okay uh, so just for an example uh, if we go to our browser and put like a is equal to 1 and uh, b is equal to 2 uh, so that is what uh, we are trying to do here uh, using postman okay is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 and same thing if you want to run it like uh, several times you go to run select the request and then i have uh, like uh, select the request so now i want to run this first request too uh, so again uh, select the iterations say i want five iteration of this 
add every uh, say again two seconds okay and choose file now i have another file there uh, which is called random json random 2.json okay uh, so if we preview it so it is it looks like this a uh, b uh, uh, a and b two values and five iterations okay uh, and uh, if you want to get a json view or uh, like notepad view of the file this is it so i'll show you how to build this easily we need not type uh, so this is how uh, you can do it so let me go full screen and uh, click this request so now we'll have um, total five requests into the cloud okay so similarly we'll have a look at the last uh, say one or two uh, say one only a16 b14 okay a16 b14 so once this is done all are pass okay so we go to our portal and it is the same name wish tree only thing name and we want the last data so it's equal to 16 b is equal to 14 so this is uh, already posted and saved in our database so this is uh, how it is done for two data points you can similarly add more ands and like like post three four data like timestamp battery percentage etc so for now uh, for those uh, who already know how you can easily create uh, such a file uh, the tutorial is done if you want to know an easy way uh, to make this uh, so uh, stay with me uh, so you we can use uh, excel uh, like it is here uh, so you can see here there is a formula called rand between 100 and 200 so it will give you uh, any value between 100 and 200 and then what you can do uh, like uh, let me let me create it here again okay say i want to do five data points and then i can like write this rand between okay and 100 comma 200 so this is the value i want so this here and then you can double click here right in that at that corner uh, you, you get five 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 randomized value okay and then once you get this five randomized value okay what you can do uh, uh you just need to copy them okay uh, because these are formula uh you can uh, like paste them here uh, and go to paste special and uh, do uh, paste only the values not the whole thing uh, so this is what you get and you can like uh, name your variable here like a if it is value of a you write all the a's here and then you need to create actually this kind of uh, curly braces and colon and all uh, so that too you need not type what you can do you can uh, just uh, i will give you this example uh, this excel into github uh, so what you can do you can just copy paste uh, this formula here okay uh, this will uh, and you can uh, like uh, let me do it so control c and uh, i control v it here so you can see here uh, i am already getting like a is equal to 53 and then i can uh, do a double click here so i get all the things so now what i can do i can just copy it Control c open a notepad okay where's my notepad here's the notepad paste it here okay uh, and the last put a bracket you don't need this comma and go to top enter and there's an open bracket okay and save the file let me save uh, save it at desktop my desktop okay uh, so desktop say i name this file as data.txt okay data.txt save so this file is saved now what i need to do i go there uh, i just need to rename this uh, instead of txt uh, you can use uh, json okay and here you say yes and here your file is ready okay so this is how you can very quickly uh, create your randomized file and not only for 20 data points but like for 500 records okay so that is how it can be created very fast and easily so thank you very much if you like the video uh, please subscribe and like okay so thanks bye